Hi, this is Bill. There's lots of reasons that you might want to password protect a file when you put it online. It could be student work, it could be uh, personal information that you don't want other people to have that don't have that password. And so there's lots of ways to do this. You can do this using a content management system. You can do it on a back end through the coding and things like that. But if you're unfamiliar with those types of pieces, one of the ways that you can do this is using a tool like PassDropIt, which is at PassDropIt.com. And what this is, this is still in beta right now, but what this does is it allows you to password protect your Dropbox links. So first of all, if you're not familiar with Dropbox, that's where we start. So if you go to Dropbox.com, this is where you can sign up for Dropbox. And Dropbox is actually a software that you install on your computer. And then any file that you put in there, you can access on a mobile device. You can access on your phone. You can access anywhere you have an internet connection through their web interface. So that's the first step, is just going ahead and downloading Dropbox onto your computer. If you'd like, you can use the following URL to go ahead and download this, use this, it's a referral link, download that, and you will be able to start using Dropbox almost immediately. It takes very little time to set up. So once you have Dropbox set up, you go back to Pass Drop It, and you want to request an invite because this is still in beta, but it works really well as far as I can tell. So right down here, if you're on Twitter, you can tweet them at Pass Drop It, or you can click right underneath where it says or re request invite by email. And once you do that, they will send you a link that will get you into the beta account through Dropbox. And once I'm here, I can go ahead and password protect a link. So I want to go to my Dropbox folder now, and you're going to notice here that I am in a folder that says example folder, and I have a folder inside there that says web photos. Now in this, there are a number of photos that I want to password protect so that when I put them online, they can't be downloaded by just anybody without that password. So one of the things that you need to know is that Pass Drop It does not allow you to password protect a folder only an individual file. So what I need to do is I need to make this into an individual file. I'm going to do that by zipping that file and make it a zip compressed file on my computer. So I'm going to right click where it says web photos on this folder and come down to the send to menu and click on compressed zipped folder. What that's going to do is that actually zips everything together and it's going to make a new folder right here. It has a little bit different icon. It actually has a zipper on it. So now I have a single folder that I can share this link with. So let me go back out of my Dropbox folder. This is my past Drop It interface where I can choose a file from Dropbox. So right here where it says choose a file, I'm going to choose a file from Dropbox. Click on here. Sign in with my username and password. And what I have is I want to go to my example folder, which is right here. And in that example folder, you're going to see that it says webphotos.zip. This is my zipped folder of those web photos. I'm going to select that, click choose. And then right down here, I can customize this if I want to. So passdropit.com slash web photo example. Make it easy to link on a page or in an email and then I'm going to change this password. Now this password actually I'm not going to change this password but this password is what I would essentially give to my students or whoever I want to have access to this. So I'm going to go ahead and click next here and that's going to actually make that link. So here is my password. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. This is the password I'm going to give to whoever I want to let use this folder. I'm going to click on the preview window. Basically, I need to save this stuff. So if I want to email it to myself, I can do that or I can email it to whoever I want. Let me go ahead and click preview. Right here it's saying put in the password. Let me go ahead and paste that password in, click submit, and then I have the ability to download that webphotos.zipped file. So this is a really good way to password protect a particular file or, as I did here, a group of files 
inside of a folder that I have compressed and zipped. So I hope you find this helpful. If you want to go about password protecting a page or some files that are in your Dropbox folder, consider using passdropit.com. It might really help you out.